St. John, chapter 14, verses 1 to 3. Jesus said, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you up to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. I was always, I was only 15 in April 1989, football mad kid, football mad family, like many of you today, and we heard the news, we heard about Hillsborough, and as a family, we couldn't believe the pain and horror that the families would get by receiving the news that the loved ones wouldn't be coming home. Wouldn't be coming home from a football match. How can anyone die watching the game you love? That isn't right. That isn't fair. What happened after wasn't right or fair either. To have to fight for the good name of the ones you lost was appalling. But as my chairman said a year ago, the authorities took on the wrong city if they thought they were going to get away with that. It's only recently that I had the privilege to spend some time in your city. It's been over 10 months and I've experienced great warmth, great spirit, great friendships, and I have seen great determination, passion, and commitment for ensuring what's right and fair. And those are the qualities that represent the Hills Hillsborough family support group, a remarkable group of people. The way you fight for justice has been truly remarkable. Over 25 years, you have overcome so many wrongs. For 25 years, you've gained the respect of those within and beyond football and the city. I know I don't have to tell you, Everton are with you. You know that. We are with you today at Goodison Park, where the fans are gathering with the board, the staff, the players, because they want to send their prayers across to you, across Stanley Park. And we will erect a permanent memorial at Goodison later this year. Everton remembers, we always will. Thank you.